I grew up in Houston, Houston, Texas. Okay, okay. Yeah, man, right outside of Houston, and then uh, moved to Dallas, then we moved back to Houston. So Houston's always been my my home. Uh, you know, I decided at at 14 that that I wanted to be a comedian. It was uh, 1992, and I've always been a fun kind of guy. I've always been funny. My whole family been crazy, and it was just something that hit me that like. I was watching uh, Martin Lawrence on TV as a young guy. That's what I was watching, and uh, that hit me, and I said, "That's what I want to do." I mean, I really want to do it on a major scale. That's what that's what it hit me in 1992. Wow. Oh, man, unbelievable. I think what I love about Steve is his dedication to funny. You know, man. You know, you working with a guy that's been doing it this long. And you get to get that knowledge firsthand. That's something you can't pay for. You can't find it. And then the way he treats you, man, that he respects you uh, uh, for what you do. And, uh, man, I can't even, I couldn't even put this together. If I was mapping this out, that I would be working with Steve Harvey. I couldn't have envisioned it. You know, growing up watching him from Me and the Boys to, to the Steve Harvey Show to the Kings of Comedy to Apollo. And then here it is, you get to work with one of the best in the business. What more can you say, man, than you just bless? I mean, that's just the only way to put it. My, you know, my pre-show ritual uh, usually starts off, man, when I get to the arena or where we're performing at, I like to go in and then I like to imagine what the night is going to be like you know, before anybody's in there. You know, I go out there and I look around and touch the chairs. I try to picture what it's going to look like when I get through. Then I go back in my room and you know and I kind of pray a little bit, ask God, thank you for the opportunity, and then go out here and uh, whoever needs to laugh tonight, that it be something that they take away, remembering that hey, this was all right, it was a great night. And uh, man, once I get to do that, man, it's time to go to work. Uh, we go ahead, we in the business of fun. That's what we have to do. And uh, that's that's pretty much it, man. Once I hit that stage. You know, everything has been set. I've already asked God for the success. We're going to go out here, we just execute, and then, man, we go out here and shake some hands. Ooh, man, gumbo. Love gumbo, you know, from the South, man. Like that whole Southern thing, the Creole, uh, you know, that like uh, fish, seafood, you know, little seafood. Uh, it's a lot of things, man, steak. Who don't like a good ribeye? Huh? Stay. Yeah. It's a bunch of little foods, man. I, I still like the hood stuff too. I still love, I still love pork chops. Yeah. Everybody love pork chops. Yeah. Chicken. Can't forget chicken. Chicken been good to us a long time. Chicken been in my life 33 years. Love chicken. All right. Barbershop playing dominoes. At the barbershop, Friday night, playing dominoes. That's what I do on Friday night. I get my hair cut, go to the back of the shop, and we're gonna play from five in the evening till about 12 at night. Dominoes. That's, that's all I want to do. That's it? Yeah. If Steve wanna play, I know he been talking to all everybody, but I'm Steve, man, you need to sit down and play a game of dominoes. Cause you can learn a lot in game of dominoes, man. Everybody stand around and talk dominoes. You know, you get around dominoes, man, you start finding out about life. Start finding out about women. Start finding out about money. Everybody come in. Divorces come out of dominoes. Everything come out of dominoes. You gonna play dominoes? You know, I, I can't even really say it. But uh, put it like this. Dolomite. Okay, once you say <laughs> dolomite, it don't get no dirtier than dolomite. Pick one. <laughs> it don't even matter. Uh, you, know, when, you know, when he was the banker and the president, you know, the six five monkey, it don't matter. I mean, it just it was just some when I first heard Dolomite, I was shocked that you could even stand up and say that. And get paid. <laughs> <laughs>